Michael Brown here. I'm amazed at the advances in AI that have occurred, especially for those of us who are exploring areas like 3D photography, lenticular printing, and domains like that. I've recently come across a couple very interesting uh, AIs on the Hugging Face website, one to create pictures of people and one to create depth maps from 2D images. And they're pretty exciting, and so I'd like to demonstrate those. I'll leave links in the description to these uh, two URLs that we're going to explore. Uh, so this first one is uh, a variation of the Flux Image AI, and it lets you create very photorealistic pictures of people. So for example, in this text box, I'm just going to type in something like cowboy at farm, and I'll hit compute. So here it is. So it's a cowboy on a horse with other horses in the background. So I suppose it could be a farm. It looks like he's actually out in the wild. But let's take this picture and save it. And I'll just put it on the desktop. We'll call that cowboy. And now what we'll do is we'll go to another hugging site page, and this one is for Marigold, which is a depth map creator. So I'll take my cowboy image, I'll drag it right in there, and I'll pull this down a little bit, I'll hit Compute Depth. And you can see a little progress bar move across the screen. All right, that's done. It took about 30 seconds. Now you can either have the uh, color depth map or you can have a, a black and white depth map. The black and white ones are the ones I generally use. So down below here you can output them. So here's the cowboy depth, a 16-bit PNG file. I'll download that. And it went into my download folder. Let me just pull that out here. All right, so now we have those two images. Now I'm going to launch Stereo Photo Maker. And I'm on a Mac, so it has to uh, launch Parallels Desktop and then and Windows. My desktop is very messy. I'm also going to open up Photoshop. So in Photoshop, I'm going to grab our two pictures. The cowboy and the depth map. I'm going to take the cowboy and I'm going to make it a 16-bit image to match the depth map. Now we will take our canvas and I will double the width, 200%. I'll drag our depth map in here, put it on the side, and now I'll save this file as a TIFF. No layers. I'll call that 4 SPM, Stereo Photo Maker. All right, we'll hide Photoshop. Here's Stereo Photo Maker. We will open our cowboy picture. So here you can see the image on the left and the depth map on the right. And now I will come here to Edit, Depth Map, and what do I want here? Create 3D image from 2D and Depth Map. Let's see. The Ford is black, so I will leave this deselected. We'll use this deviation of 30%. Hit OK. And it has made our stereo pair, and I'll put this in anaglyph mode. And take a peek. Yeah, that looks pretty good. Now, if I want to adjust 
the stereo window. I could do that with this easy adjustment. And then I can slide this, you know, and that would be a window violation. And that looks pretty good right there. So I'll hit OK. And now I will go back here and I'll save this. as a universal view, left, right, right, left. And I will minimize this. All right, and here's our universal view. So if you can free view parallel, that would be the top image. If you have to free view cross-eyed, then you'd look at the bottom image. So there you go. A very quick way to uh, generate a 2D image and then create a depth map. And then from that depth map, create a stereo pair. Hope you enjoyed this short little tutorial.